So, out of y'all, we got an awesome, awesome question for you today. Uh, I don't know who provided it, but pretty darn smart, but they are going to be upset by my answer. So the question goes, can we make concrete that is lightweight, strong, and economical? I feel like my dad asked this question. You know, my dad loves making concrete. Uh, I'm sorry, we got a new puppy in the facility. He loves making concrete, but the thing that he hates about it the most is that it's a 60 pound bag comes in, or 60 pounds of concrete comes in 60 pounds. You know, he would rather get that same volume of concrete in 30 pounds. You know, it hurts his back picking up that, you know, that 60 pound or 80 pound bag. So the question is, can we make that concrete lightweight, still have the same strength or make it strong and make it economical? And you know, uh, my cousin once said, my cousin's in marketing, and he once told me one of the rules in marketing is fast, good, or cheap, pick two. And when it comes to concrete, you know, you can want uh, lightweight, strong, and, ec and economical. Pick two. You can't have all three. So whoever asked the question, pick two out of those, but you just can't have all three. It, 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 you know, making a lightweight concrete that's economical is very easy by using a whole bunch of air and expanded shale. Making lightweight concrete that is strong is very easy using a refined paste refined rehydrated cement matrix and a boutique uh, granular skeleton that's normally made out of a higher end lightweight aggregate a ceramic shell if you will um, and making a a a strong economical concrete which you know gets away from the lightweight is very easy to do and you just normally either put admixtures or, you know reducing the water cementitious put more cement in there um, you know, and you don't have to make it too expensive to make it, you know, really strong. But to get the lightweight, you can't have both the uh, lightweight, economical, and the economical and strong in there. You actually have to, you know, make a, it's going to be a more expensive mix just because of the tailoring that you need to do um, to keep that lightweight, to keep the fresh properties that you would want, and also get that strength, a uh, little bit more expensive materials. Now, if you can compromise on some of that lightweight, you know, normal standard concrete is between 140 and 150 pounds per cubic foot. So lightweight is around 110. If you could be happy with 120, 130 pounds per cubic foot, you still call that lightweight. But to me, you know, lightweight is around 50 to 60 pounds per cubic foot. So to get to that lightweight, I mean, if that's what we're defining lightweight as, yeah, you gotta choose two of those, so. Thanks for the question. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ding that bell for notifications. Go concrete. Big asphalt.